Hi there. Hi Thank there. you so much for joining me for Yarn Bite with Nora. I'm so happy you could join me for just a couple of minutes, 8 minutes, 10, 12 minutes, when I can just tell you a little bit, just give you a little bite of what I've been up to with my knitting, my crocheting, and my weaving. And I hate to admit, I have been sadly lacking in my embroidery. So I gotta step it up, especially since we've got the holidays coming up and I, I did buy some inexpensive kits to work on. Well, I think I would like to start today, this episode, with a couple of movie reviews. I know that uh, a lot of us like to work on our craft projects and watch a TV show or a movie that gives us the opportunity to catch up. And I saw a couple of excellent movies that I'd, I'd like to recommend to you all. Uh, the first one is The Dressmaker and it stars the beautiful Kate Winslet and the equally gorgeous Liam Hemsworth, one of the Hemsworth brothers. It's set in Australia and Kate Winslet is a dressmaker. Uh, she left the town, a small Australian town, and amid a big scandal. She came back very bitter, feeling unloved, uh, set for revenge. It's tongue-in-cheek, it's a satire, it's very... The costuming is marvelous, and all of us who are into the fiber arts, we love costuming. and. And a lot of this is haute couture, and it's um, inspired by Dior. And there's a constable, a male constable, who absolutely adores couture. So, so there's some very comical uh, scenes with him and Miss uh, Winslet and the costuming. And, you know, it's revenge with uh, fatal but kind of comical results. And there's a tragic love story, so I don't want to tell you too much, but I think I did. I think I did. But a beautiful, beautiful story. So all these beautiful, bright colors, the designs set among this dusty, desolate, tiny little village of kind of mean people. Very mean people, mean-spirited. And, it, you know, she finds out the truth from a childhood tragedy and has to work her way through it with the help of her loved ones. Then the other one I'd like to recommend, a totally different tone. It's a, set in a modern time, so the other one is kind of comic book. This one is a more uh, contemporary. It's called The Book of Henry, and it stars Naomi Watts. Uh, it, if, uh, it, it does have some very strong, well, there's child molestation. I mean, it's alluded. Uh, you don't actually see it, which is good, you know, but still, it, it's a young girl who's the friend of Henry, and he's a genius. Henry is a genius, and he actually parents his mother, uh, Naomi Watts. She's kind of uh, childish, immature. He He's the one who pretty much supports the family. And he sets into motion a plot to rescue his friend. And it it does have a very, very strong tone or bothersome tone, uh, especially of child molestation. Even just a hint of it, it really, really bothers you. Uh, except, and I guess that's what makes the whole, the whole movie even more tragic, but it's beautifully acted, beautifully written, and Henry, the character Henry, is an extraordinary, extraordinary character, and I highly recommend those. Something that oh, I think I made a lot of mistakes during both of these both of these uh, movies because they are so interesting. So you you don't want to work on anything too complicated. Well, I bought some new needles, a new set of needles. These are cubics. They're cubics because my, you know, I've, I've mentioned before I've had hand surgery. 
and sometimes my fingers get a little stiff and cubics are supposed to uh, provide more uh, surface area than round. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And it's nickel plated. It's chrome. Slick, slick, slick. And can you tell it's, it's the shape of it? Look at that. It's like a mirror. It's so shiny. Very, very slick. Let me see. It's hard to see, right? There you go. There you go. There you go. You can see that now. It's better, right? You can see that's a cube. Uh, these are really nice. They come in size, I believe this is size 4. Or is that? Yes, size 4. It goes all the way up to size uh, 11. It goes all the way up to size 11. Right now I'm using the 8s and the 9s. It comes with these, oh, beautiful cords. Wow. They don't kink. They're so smooth. It comes with three, well, four, because I'm, I'm using two right now. Very smooth connectors, very smooth. There isn't any little gouges. And it comes with a little key so that it can be connected. And these are made by Knitter's Pride. Knitter's Pride, and it is called Nova Cubits Platina interchangeable deluxe set. So these are my interchangeable circulars. Now with color-coded cords. Here we go. And I did get these online. Very nice. Uh, they're beautiful. They're beautiful to work with. I like the cord. This is smooth, smooth, smooth. So I, I highly recommend these. Uh, very, oh, very light. I <laughs> scared the dogs. They're very light. They're long enough that even my, my hands are small, so I don't have to clutch it because it's very light and they're easy to balance. They're easy to balance on a couple of fingers. Very nice. Well, why don't we see what's in my magic box? Believe in your own magic. In something as small as a box, we can stuff it full of our talents, our hopes, our dreams. And I would like to put my sharing in here, things that I can share with other people. And the first thing I'd like to show you are some mittens. I make mittens the way other people make socks out of luxurious indie dyed yarns. I love making mittens. This is a little monkey and the uh, face is crocheted free, free pattern on the internet. The yarn's 100% wool. See how you can just use your scraps? And this is another free applique. It's a banana. And I added the, the middle peel. Oops. The middle peel right there. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like patting your head and rubbing your tummy. Here we go. I added that because I thought there was just too much banana. So that's cute. And these are for my friend, um, Rhea, who uh, makes mittens for her daughter's first grade class. So that's a lot of fun. Then, I'm also crocheting a, another welcome blanket. And here's a rose right in the middle. I combined two uh, granny square patterns. I wanted something super simple. And here's a rose. I think it's so pretty in pastel. And I'm working on another one in yellow. And what I want is, uh, these are six by six squares. So I'm asking my, my knitter friends for my knitting group if they will uh, make one, make a square, any kind of square, knitted, crocheted, as long as it's six by six. And I'll go ahead and I'll join them. I'll put the border, because you know I love my borders and um, send it. And plus they can write 
on a small little card, uh, advice, uh, a welcoming note to them. Now my daughter is pregnant and she's starting to show. She's got a little baby bump and I'm making her a poncho sweater which is good because you get a little lumpy, don't you? This is the Camden. It's available uh, Annie's at catalog.com. It's a paid for pattern and here we have chevron, lace, inset and this was just um, a border of a of a garter stitch and then on the sides garter stitch Isn't that pretty so I've got about I think four more of these and then it's going to be a lot of stockinette but there's a hundred and thirty one stitch and this is the small medium size and but it's a poncho and it is a sweater combination I, I just love those that style and just something she can wear now and then she can wear after the baby it has short sleeves it's very pretty put these back oh and look what else was hiding here these little guys for another set of mittens I made some dinosaur appliques little kids love dinosaurs I remember my daughter, the one that's pregnant, was cr she went through a stage where she loved dinosaurs. She was all about dinosaurs. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And then the first one I made was a little bit bigger, and his neck didn't, didn't curl as much as he should. But what's nice is you can always just kind of gather it and stitch it in place. But you know what else I thought? I can put his head this way and just, just uh, rework his mouth and his eyes and he can be going forward. Brrr. So that's a lot of fun. A uh, little purchase that I made that's very handy. I have two needle gauges so I can size my needles. And whenever I see really cute ones, I go, no, Nora, you already have two. You don't need another one. I couldn't find them. I could not find them. So I had to buy another one. This was less than $5. It's plastic. And what I like, see this clear part right here? It has a fine line. And that's the four inch. So you can make a four inch swatch. And then it has a little ditch or a little dome. Let's see if you can see the little dome. Can you see that? That's the little dome. So if you have nice big lumpy stitches, you can set that right on top of them. And it won't squish them. Isn't that nice? It was less than $5. And this is also Knitter's Pride. The same brand as my needles. Knitter's Pride. Now, I got a special delivery package. A nice big box from my friend Rhea from Rhode Island. Uh, she hosted me last year. She's the one who took me to New York City and to uh, Rhinebeck, had a great time. Can't, I can't make it this year, so she sent me a Yankee box, or I guess you could call it a Yankee care box. A little bit of fall is in here because, as some of you know, I live in South Texas. Uh, it's October, right? October 5th. Oh, it was a heavenly 77 degrees. In the summer, we have three months of 100 plus weather. So it's just now breaking. It, the days are in the 90s. Uh, today, it rained and rained and rained, so it was 77. She sent me a lovely, <laughs> wishing you a Halloween. Wishing you a Halloween that's happy in every which way. <laughs> Ah, they're cute. She knows I love Halloween, so she sent me she sent me some homemade peach jam. She goes to the farmer's market. Look at that peach jam. Oh, it's just so packed full of good stuff. <gasps> Blackberry jam. Look at that. Look at that blackberry jam. Mmm. Isn't that nice? Yum, 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 yum. 
Oh, and of course, some socks, some cute Halloween socks. It's not Halloween without cute socks. Look at that. <laughs> They're cute. Uh, the bats are silvery. The bats are silvery. Look at that. That is so cute. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, and then a... Oh, how pretty. This is a banner. Kind of, you know what? I should open it. Like a flag that I can put outside welcoming fall. Right now, our yard is the greenest it's ever been because we've had about a week of, of rain. Uh, we have monsoon season in the fall, so this is when things turn green here and the spring. Oh, boy, look at this. How cute. Can you see that? It says, Welcome Fall. Look at that. How cute is that? Oh, boy. Look at that. So cute. And then, of course, have to have some hand towels with bats. And look at that fringe. Oh, my goodness. So beautiful. The kind of towels that Morticia would have in her kitchen. Oh, yes, you know it. And then here's some more. Oh, this is... <gasps> This also has that pretty lace. It's very stiff. It's very, very stiff. Oh, it's rickrack. It's a fancy kind of rickrack border. Well, I've never seen that before. Can you see that? I have never seen that. And it's terry cloth, nice fuzzy, terry, very rich terry cloth. And it has a black and gray pumpkins. How cute. Oh, and it wouldn't be fall without uh, maple syrup. Oh my goodness. From, let's see, let's see, New Hampshire, Chester, New Hampshire. Folsom's Sugar House. Look at, it. Look at the tin. Oh my goodness, so nostalgic. There's a little log cabin and a little collie. Oh, and he's actually working the sugar syrup there. Can you see that? Or is there too much glare? Yeah, too much glare. But here, if I move back a little bit. Hey, that's pretty good. How nice is that? Well, thank you, Ria. Thank you for my box of fall. I love it. Thank you so much. Well, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed showing you my projects and my goodie box from the Northeast from my Yankee friend, Aria. I've got my jammies on, my socks, and I am starting to perspire a little bit because I turned off the air conditioner because it's making too much racket. And I'm going to work on my Camden. I'm going to find another movie, hopefully something I can recommend for you all. And I'm working on the back of my, uh, my daughter's poncho. And I have uh, two inches of garter stitch. I need another two inches for a total of four inches. And then I'm going to attach the front band and the back band. And then I'm going to work in a circle. So it's going to be 262 stitches. So it's kind of slow going, even though these are a nine size nine needles. But I think I'll, I think I can have it done by the end of the month, early November. So she'll still be pregnant. <laughs> the baby's not due till early January. Well, thank you so much. And please say hi. Let me know what you think of the show. And if you'd like to see something else, you guys take care and enjoy this gorgeous fall weather. I'm sure wherever you are. All right, take care. Bye-bye.